This video is for educational purposes only. Only test your own hardware. Doing otherwise is illegal. Don't be a skin. What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch. It's great to have you back. Now, I'm sure you've seen my videos and a ton of other videos out going off the Apple DLE spam. Well, after Ecto-1A and Willy from XFW kind of let the cat out of the bag on that, um, other people hopped in to see what else they could do. Well, that's where Spooky comes in. Spooky started sniffing out other packets from other devices, seeing what he could get to work. Well, it turns out you can do pretty much the exact same thing on Android devices. Furthermore, what's even cooler is he figured out how to make custom DLE spam for those Android devices. But wait, there's more. He actually figured out that you can also do a similar things with Windows PCs. So today I'm going to show you how to do all of those things. And I'm also going to show you how to disable it so that nobody can annoy you like this anymore. All right, so let's get right at it. It's spam time. What, what is spam time? What does that even mean? I swear these intros get weirder and weirder. Anyway, let me show you the window spam first. This one's kind of cool. So for those of you who've been watching my videos for a while, you may know that I have broken the hell out of my Bluetooth on my PC. It doesn't work for anything. It's kind of annoying. I've tried dongles. I've tried everything. It is hella broken. But what's not broken is my MSI laptop, which I love. This is actually my old one, but we're going to use this for today's demo. All right, so first things first, let me show you how to get this on your flipper. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna take our flipper zero and we're gonna plug it into the USB-C cable so we can connect it to Q flipper. So here we go, USB-C cable that nobody can see. Plug it in, cool, we're plugged in. Then we're gonna navigate over to the XFW Discord and it's gonna be linked down below. We're gonna go to the reaction roles channel and then turn on dev updates because without that, you're not gonna get into the dev updates channel, which is right here. At the bottom here, there'll be a release that'll have all of this in there. So just install the latest dev release. It'll be super easy. I'll even run through this one more time. I've done it a few times, but people keep asking. It's easier to show you again. So we're just gonna click on the TGZ. We're gonna save it to our desktop right here. And then it should be right on my desktop. From here, we're just gonna click install from file. And then we're gonna click on that file and just click install. I've already done this. I'm not gonna do it again for this video, but yeah, that's how you get the BLE spam on your flipper. I'll go hit cancel for the sake of this video. All right, so now that we have our updated firmware and the application we need, we can fire it up and see what it does. I'll pull up QFlipper with a screen recording of my flipper right here so you can see what I'm doing and then I'll have a recording from the computer so you can see everything all at the same time. All right, so now we've got everything recording. Let me hop onto the flipper and we can see, here we go, everything's working. We're gonna go to Bluetooth, and now we're gonna see that we have a BLE spam app. It's a brand new app. So we're gonna load this up, and I'll tell you what some more of these features do, but we're gonna go down to Windows Device Found, and we're gonna click this one. Let's see what happens. Boom. If you watch in the bottom corner there, this should pop up in just a second. There we go. So it says, <laughs> new kink found. So that's how you know. But it's a really cool idea right there. Now, I'll admit when Spooky sent me these files, he didn't tell me exactly how they were going to work, but that's actually pretty funny. All right, so some quick movie magic and we'll get rid of this laptop. Bam, and with some fancy editing, it's gone. All right, so in the beginning of the video, I said I was going to show you how to disable all of these attacks so that you don't have to deal with this annoying stuff. So this is how to do it in Windows. Luckily, it's super easy. All we have to do is go into our Bluetooth controls Scroll all the way down to the bottom here and then this select show notifications to connect using Swift pair. This is, I believe, enabled by default. So uh, if you don't want to see these pop ups at any point, all you got to do is disable the Swift pair notifications and you're done. All right, so let's move on to the Android spam. And I'm so happy because I own an Android phone. I can actually film my own stuff for once. It's been awesome having people from the community reach out and send me footage, but it's a lot easier for me if I can control everything and actually do it myself, so I'm excited today. So let me throw my phone on one of my mic stands and hook it up to a camera so we can see what's going on. All right, so now that we got the phone screen popped up here, I'm gonna use the same app as we used a second ago, and I'm gonna go over to Android device pair. So again, just like it did previously, we're gonna use this in order to do a fake pairing of a device. Editing Sasquatch here, real quick, I did wanna note that you do have to enable a setting inside of your Google device settings. It's called include debug results. And we'll show you how to do it in just a second, but in order to get the custom BLE spams to work, you do have to enable that. 
All the other BLA spams that use headphones and things like that, those are trusted devices. Those you don't need to change anything. But if you want the custom ones, you do have to enable a setting. And again, we'll show you in just a second. So I'm going to press the button right here. And if we watch, it's going to pop up on the screen just like it did last time. I can't see the phone screen, so I'm assuming this worked. That's pretty cool. You'll notice that we've got custom graphics on here. So the other thing that uh, Spooky made up for me, um, him and Willie were working on this, is my own custom one. So I can pop up the subscribe to Talking Sasquatch anytime anybody with an Android phone is within, you know, my BLE range and my flipper. It's pretty cool. So obviously this begs the question of how exactly does this work? Now, they've pretty much done it the exact same way that it was done on Apple, is they captured an actual packet and figured out how to manipulate that packet for, you know, whatever uses they wanted. The first version of this that I saw, basically we had it just like headphones and things like that trying to pair with the phone, again, exactly like Apple. However, they also figured out that using some of Google's dev tools, you can create your own devices. Then, when you pair your new device that you created with the BLE packet, Google will actually reach out to its own database to display the information about it, including the description and the image. Now, this is a bit of a security oversight or something. It seems like this shouldn't be as easy to do as it is. So part of my hacker mindset, whenever I run into things like this, is I try to think of all of the use cases for it. Well, with this particular exploit, I got to thinking, basically, I can advertise anything I want to anybody within BLE range, which means I could plug my YouTube channel. If I was a business, I could plug my business. And basically, I could just force advertisements upon people. Obviously, I'm not advocating for doing this, but again, I'm just kind of thinking what people could do. There's also a lot of much worse things you could do. Obviously, you're able to pull up text and an image on someone's phone without them knowing or wanting it. So there's a lot of relatively malicious things you could do. Obviously, for this reason is exactly why I'm not showing you exactly how to make these. That being said, let me show you how to disable the option on your phone if you never want to get these ever. So what I'm gonna do is you're just gonna watch me rub on my phone while I do a screen recording and I'll show you exactly where the file, or the file, I'll show you exactly where the menu to disable it is. So let's scroll down here into settings. I'm gonna go all the way down. Whoops, yeah, it was all the way up. I'm gonna go all the way down to Google. We're gonna go to devices and sharing. We're gonna click on devices. And then if you disable the show notifications toggle on there, it'll turn off all of those. I'm pretty positive if you, turn off the include debug results, that'll turn off the, the custom ones. So yeah, basically, if you never want to see them, that's how you do it. There is one other fun feature they added to the app that I wanted to show off. I can't really show exactly how it works because I don't have that many devices. However, let me show you what the kitchen sink does. Actually, I do have an iPhone that's susceptible to BLE spam and my Android, so I can kind of give you an idea how this works. All right, so I've got on my flipper loaded up the kitchen sink BLE spam right here. So it's a flood of attacks that goes all at once and it targets everything. So let's see if I can get my phones out and visible. Kind of hold them like that and then press start. And then we can see immediately it starts popping up on the phones. So it works on Apple, it works on Android, and it actually pulls up the Windows icon as well, the Windows pairing thing that I showed you earlier, all at the same time, over and over again. So if you're running kitchen sink and just kind of existing in normal technology, people's phones are gonna be popping off. Now, one of the smart things that Android actually did was they made it so that you can only try to pair a device two or three times before it just stops listening to it. So you can only make the same pop-up go a few times. I actually ran into this the first time I was testing it and I was like, man, I've run this like a couple times and it was working and now it's not. Well, that's why. Obviously, why is that important? And it's because I can't effectively brute force my way into somebody's phone and make it so that, you know, they can't use it because they're getting so much spam. So that's a smart thing on Google's side. Now, that's not to say that that's the same case for everything. There are exploits all over the place. And this seems to be a relatively new kind of field using the, the Flipper Zero in particular for this attack. So don't be surprised if you see some more vectors coming out in the future. Man, when this BLE spam first came out, again, I almost wasn't gonna cover it because I was like, hey, you know, it's kind of an interesting idea, but I didn't realize exactly how big this rabbit hole really was. And seeing where we came from and how far we've gone with it so far, I have a feeling this is not the end of it. 
Again, huge shout out to Spooky and Willie for all their hard work on this. Spooky spent a decent amount of time on a call with me already this morning, making sure that everything was kind of figured out and I wasn't saying anything incorrectly. So thanks so much for the help. Without people like you, it's so much harder to make great content for everyone. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, tell your friend, tell your dog, whatever. But thank you so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Thanks again. We'll catch you next time.